hi guys it's pauline welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi so as you can see by the title today i'll be transforming into a guy the opposite gender the opposite sex i've done this several times before like for my high school we had opposite day where we dress up as the opposite gender especially for the seniors i've dressed up to like me and my boyfriend would dress up before if you guys want to see that like me and my boyfriend dress up and we go on a date if you guys want to see that let me know i'll probably do that that's really a good idea but i'm not gonna look exactly like my boyfriend like i have his shirt on i'm gonna put his clothes on later he doesn't have a beard but i'm gonna put a beard on because it makes me look more like uh, a man because if I don't have facial hair, I just look like a... I still look like a girl. I'm gonna put a beard on today, okay? So let's get into it. Okay, so first, we're gonna prime. If you're gonna wear this, like, all day long, I recommend you priming. I used a marshmallow primer from NYX. Now we're gonna put concealer under our foundation. This is something I've been doing recently. Just to, like, highlight all my acne scars and, like, at, like red spots. So it's just like a good base to have. I recommend doing this because I started doing it recently. And then I use like a thin layer of foundation on top. So like for me, it wasn't that cakey. And I'm using the e.l.f. Hydro Camo Concealer in Fair Beige. Okay, so you want to blend that out. I thought this video would be a fun idea. I don't know. Um, It's like, I don't know, dressing up as the opposite gender just fascinates me i've done it multiple times and i have fun with it each time i don't know it's fun to like get ready but like get ready as the opposite gender <laughs> i'm literally at home i'm not doing anything after this so this is just like for entertainment say for mine and yours so now that we have the concealer all blended out i'm gonna take my foundation and put it on top so today i'm using the morphe hint skin tint in the shade uh what shade am i I'm light medium with a neutral undertone and I'm gonna do a few pumps of these my face looks so pale right now I think like one full pump is okay and then I'm gonna use where's my foundation brush I'm gonna use a foundation brush and then like just spread it out I'm not gonna blend it out yet I'm just gonna spread it all out this is something new I learned from TikTok so I'm just gonna spread it all out don't blend it out yet just spread it all over your skin and then you're gonna take a setting spray I'm gonna take the Morphe setting spray the first one and then I'm gonna spray it all over my skin and you're gonna leave that on to like dry for a second but like not super dry where it's like doesn't blend out just fan it out for like five seconds and then you're gonna use a beauty blender and then you're gonna blend it into the skin to get like a skin like finish really good and it doesn't leave my face to feel super cakey and it hides a lot of my texture I don't know, it makes my face look really nice. This technique worked really well on me. Um, let me know if it works well for you guys. So now we're gonna contour a little bit. Well, I usually don't like contouring on my natural face. But since we're doing male makeup, I'm gonna contour. We're gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see my face a little more clearer. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan. So I'm gonna, um, draw a line below my cheekbones and like low-key draw like this right there i'm going for like a more square face look and then i'm gonna draw below my cheek oh, my jawline sorry can't use words below jawline and then we're gonna blend that out for now okay now we're gonna go on to like contouring so i draw like a square right here not a square more like a triangle-ish. Yeah, the, yeah, the triangle. So we're gonna draw triangles there. And um, we're gonna nose contour a little bit. So I go in from this corner and I wanna square it out. Like corner it out. And then drag down to the side. It's okay if you're a little messy with this. Cause we're gonna do other stuff later to it. Okay, you wanna draw like a big. Like usually how girls draw like a small circle. You wanna draw like a big circle. And just like square out the top of your brow right there. It looks weird, I know. But be patient. It will work out just fine. So far so good, now we're gonna use, since we're done contouring, we're gonna use a concealer. We're gonna drag this down and make the face look wide. And then we're gonna do like a square right here. 
draw a square and then for the nose we're gonna do like elongate the side and then square this out as well and then square this out as well I'm trying to draw a square it's a lot of squares <laughs> Um, try not to drag it too out too much. Try to keep it on like the cheek area. Don't try to pull it up. And it's okay if you look a little messy. We're also going to conceal our lips because we're trying to make them look smaller and like less plumpy. Okay, I look weird right now, but trust the process, guys. At the end of this, we're going to look like a man the opposite gender now you want to powder your face i'm going to use my morphe pink powder because it gives off a natural finish i use this powder on my regular makeup as well and you're just going to powder the whole face to like set everything in i look so ugly right now but trust trust now we're gonna do a little bit of contouring with powder where did i leave my contour powder so I'm going to use the Revolution Mega Bronzer in number one, which is cool. And I'm going to use an angled brush. It's okay if you go a little ham on the bronzer. So you want to go where you like contour and then drag it down a little bit. Oh, oh, might be a little too dark there. So if you ever have a problem, just go over with a beauty blender. You want to like bronze at the bottom with your lips and then tie your lips a little bit. And the side of your nose. I swear, we're gonna look like a man. And the side of your eyes a little bit. Now I'm gonna use my Morphe 35F palette. It's dirty, yes. And then I'm gonna use, we're gonna use this small brush, blending brush, and we're gonna use like this reddish brown right here. And then we're just gonna go under the eyes. Make sure to use it lightly and then you're just gonna enhance your dark circles that you have already. Yeah, I know. Then why did you do the base? Because you want a different, a blank canvas to work on. And it's okay if both sides don't look exactly alike. That's the whole point. And then you're gonna use, how do I say, this brown, the same brush. And you're just gonna elongate your eyes out by dragging it out and underneath too just drag it out a little bit and you want to swoop down i swear you will notice the difference soon once i'm done okay now i look homeless but don't worry we're still got a long way to go i want to use liner to do this we're gonna lightly like drag your eyes out and drag this eye out. But like follow the shape of your eye. Don't do what I just did. Okay, this looks horrible, but trusting the process. So we're gonna use this brown chain, the middle palette, and then you're just gonna go all over the contour spots you did earlier. And you wanna give yourself a mustache. I'm going for that mustache beard type look. I forgot about the brows, but we're gonna do the brows first before we do the beard. So I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Unbeliever Brow gel thingy i'm gonna draw the brow and you want to make the brow thick and not straight so not angled like or arch see yeah <laughs> instead of drawing out uh outlining above i recommend outlining lower so it gives like certain brow structure to it i don't know what i'm talking about but it makes it look more manly. I kind of outlined it, but it's not dark enough. So I'm going to go in with my ColourPop brow pencil in the shade. What shade is this? Fresh brown. And then we're just going to draw feather-like hair. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so, brows. Oh my god, this video is too silly of me at this point. I hope you guys find this entertaining because I do. So now I'm going to use an old mascara that I don't use anymore. Uh, the Voluminous Lash Paradise. And then you're just going to go all over your face like this. So I shaved off all my peach fuzz. So hopefully this works. If not, I'll use a different mascara. But you're just going to drag it on your skin. Okay, don't, don't do it like that. If it's like too much product, then you can just scratch it off. So don't be stupid like me 
and forget to take off excess product but if it's too much product then you can just scratch it off with using the mascara wand you just want to like mimic the pattern of a beard and i guess i'm going full grown man beard today i was gonna go for a subtle beard but now i'm just gonna go for full man beard I ain't going subtle about this I don't know what I'm doing at this point, guys. I'm supposed to show you how I transform into a dude. Now I don't know what I'm doing. I used to be good at this. Oh my god, I actually had videos where my beard actually looked good. What happened to my beard? <laughs> oh my god, I need to raise the beard up. The beard's too low. There we go. Okay, the beard was too low. I was like worried. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So now I'm gonna use like this old eyeliner that's like there's barely anything left and I'm just gonna draw hair all over my face. Like there's barely anything left in this eyeliner so I'm just gonna like draw random hair all over. It looks like I have dirt on my face. Uh. Yeah, I kinda see it guys. Kinda see it. Okay, maybe the black liner is too strong but yeah it kind of looks like a beard you guys are like um pauline no no what are you doing please stop what you are doing and i'm just like over here like mm-hmm oh yeah oh yeah totally know what i'm doing for sure no one's gonna dress up like a dude pauline so i'm gonna put a little bit of um color in my lip like a lip now i'm gonna put a little color in my lip if i can find the lip stuff for my lip don't this ah i'm gonna use this color very lip like heading in the middle oh yeah <laughs> okay uh i'm gonna darken my under eye circle a little bit because it's not dark enough I'm gonna use this color Framed from the Vault palette. This is the Ring of Light palette. I'm gonna use Frame. I'm gonna use that little tiny brush again. <laughs> well, what am I doing? What are you doing, Pauline? I look like a homeless man. I don't know y'all can see this, but I have my boyfriend's shirt on and I have his shorts on shorts okay i'm gonna grab the hoodie i actually bought him this hoodie so i'm gonna put the hoodie on try not to get makeup on it though look oh my god ah! okay so i'm back with a beanie beanie in hand okay so i'm gonna do under my hair so right now my hair is extremely dead and dry but i don't know if i should hide all my hair and be like a bald dude should i be a bald dude i should try to be a bald dude let me try and be a bald dude see how that okay i'm just gonna keep it like as, as flat as possible and just like pull the beanie over just like stuff the hair in and pull the beanie over let me hide the hair hide the hair oh my god literally spending half this video just trying to put on this beanie okay yeah hey <laughs> yo what's up man <laughs> oh guys do right okay so the transformation is done wow <laughs> okay this is pretty bad but from afar i look like a dude let me let me keep a straight face let me so so ho yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you like this video. This is me being silly. More content like this will come. Oh my god. I look like an ABB. So, name's Kevin Nguyen. <laughs> ah, uh, I can't with myself. Yoma. Hey, you cutie. You cutie. This is so fun, guys. I like doing this video. Imagine me modeling. Wait, let me, let me zoom in. Okay, this is all fun, okay? Don't take it seriously. I'm not trying to, like, offend anyone. I look good. Okay. Okay.
okay so thank you for watching this video with me guys um this is no way like a tutorial or anything this is me fooling around transforming into a dude because i think it's personally it's super fun but that's it for the end of this video um thank you so much for tuning in and watching with me i hope you guys enjoyed this uh leave a comment like the video subscribe if you want um there will be more tomfoolery tomfoolery ish videos does that even make sense like this in the future bye Thank you.